the Naira uh, design, the design is a good one. It's a good policy that was taken. But unfortunately, it was botched in the way that it was not done to ensure that citizens do not suffer. And there are so many things attached to it in terms of politicians. We've seen places where people have brought out Naira notes that are over 13 years old and they've been kept somewhere. We've also seen terrorists holding a lot of money. So in terms of the design itself, it's a good, it's a good policy that was done. But the fact is that it was botched in the way that it was, uh, it was not done to, to ease the suffering of the people. Now for the last 60 years, we've had some people who think they own Nigeria and they've controlled the leadership and they have held everything down and they've had control over the whole nation. But what we have right now is that the people of Nigeria have decided that they are going to get their country back and they're doing everything to ensure that happens. And so what we call on the government to do is to ensure that there's free, fair, credible election, is to ensure that state resources are not used in their, to the advantage of any candidate and also for the security agencies not to be used to disenfranchise anyone or go after anyone. So all we are asking for is that credible election and we want that to happen. Yes, in Nigeria there are cabals, but if we as a people, we vote in people with competence, character and capacity, people who are not afraid to fight the cabal, and we do that, we will have a, a good nation. And one example is Mr. Peter Obi. He has fought, he fought the cabal in Anambra State and he ensured that he was able to give good governance to his people. And so we want to see that also at the national stage. The message to Nigeria youth is that you own Nigeria and you are the CEOs of Nigeria and you must ensure that nobody nobody gaslights you to tell you that you're leaders of tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. You are leaders of today and you should take charge. And I'm very glad with the Nigeria youth what they're doing. Right now we've seen them take charge of politics and politics have changed and for, by the grace of God it will have changed for good forever. We also want them to take part in governance. When the elections are over that is when their job will begin because they have to be on the, on the demand side of governance and ensure that they are holding government accountable. Do not vote for anyone and the person gets into office and you're not holding that person accountable. So there are two sides of governance, supply side and demand side. The people that have voted into office, they supply, while the people who vote them into office, they demand. So who must continue to do that demand? The Nigerian youth are doing great and one of the things that we have, we as the older generation have not given them enabling environment for, for them to thrive. They are thriving and unfortunately we go on and we keep killing them, you know, police brutality and all of that. This is to say to Nigeria you that you own this country, don't go back, don't allow anyone gaslight you, don't allow anyone tell you that, oh, there are elders or whatever. Just ensure that you continue to do the needful for your country.